I swear, I'm not naked right now. I have clothing on. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to do my like summer makeup routine for you guys. This is a super easy look, so if you're someone who's just now getting into makeup, or if you just don't like wearing makeup really all that much, but you want to spruce it up a little bit, this one's for you, and yeah, let's just jump into the video, because I have a friend that I need to meet today. So first things first, I always start off with a spray, and this one's my like favorite through and through. I'm literally almost out of it. I highly recommend this. It's from Target. You can get it. It's just the Pixie um, Glow Mist. And this has like argan oils in it. So it's just going to make your skin look all sweaty and silky and beautiful. The shirt's really annoying. I don't really know where it's supposed to go. It keeps wanting to like go up here. But I'm trying to show off some uh, sexy shoulder action. I've just been really liking like the sheer coverage, so I actually just picked this BB cream up. I've used BB cream several times in the past, but basically it's just a more sheer coverage. Sometimes you can get a BB cream that has more like sunscreen in it, and they're usually just kind of better for your skin as opposed to like caking your face with like a foundation. There are also things like CC creams, which I found out means color correcting cream, I think, and those ones are also really nice, but for today's look, I just want a very sheer look, so I just picked up the Maybelline, Maybelline, Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. They have two different versions. There's this one, and then there's one I think for like acne prone skin, and it kind of like helps fight acne, so that could be beneficial for you. And yeah, so I got the shade Light Medium and it is very sheer coverage. I like it because it's in a squeezy tube. And I basically just kind of plop it on my beauty sponge like this. And the nice thing is that there's like little to like, I guess there's like some coverage in it, but it's not really heavy. Um, but that's why I like it. I also like that it has SPF in it, but it just makes your skin look like your skin, just more fresh, more awake, more alive, more sweaty. I love sweaty skin. Um, the only downside is that the color range to be creams in general, but like, so like not even just this one, um, is next to nothing. It was like light, medium, medium, and dark, I'm pretty sure. So, fail on your end Maybelline and any other company that doesn't have inclusive shade ranges or not beating the face to the gods here, we're lightly adding a little something something over your own skin. So it's like if people are asking you like, oh, do you have foundation on? You could be like, no. And you can just stop there. Or you could say the honest truth and say it's a BB cream. But why would you do that, you know? So yeah, it didn't really add much coverage. It just definitely evens out the skin tone. You can still see my freckles on my forehead peeping through. And I have like this really painful pimple right underneath my nostril. If you can see that, um, it's tiny, but that shit's deadly. So moving on, um, let's see where I want to go to next. I think I'm just gonna kind of jump around. But I do like to conceal a little bit during the summer, nothing crazy. Recently my under eyes have just been pretty prominent because like I got back from vacation and went right into working like six days this last week. So mama needs her sleep, mama needs her coverage. So I'm gonna cover up just my dark circles, but I'm not gonna be putting like concealer all around my face for today. But if you are someone who wants a little bit more coverage on top of the BB cream, then concealer will definitely be your secret weapon of choice. So typically during the summertime, I don't like to set my under eyes. One, just because I have really naturally dry under eyes. So any powder I've ever tried will always give me just dry, flaky, gross under eyes. So I'm just avoiding it. But especially just because for today's look, I want that really dewy, very fresh, sexy, beachy look, and powder is not gonna give that to me. So for eyebrows today, I'm keeping it really simple. I don't have any product on right now. This is just tint that I did like two weeks ago. So I'm not gonna like go on and fill it in like I normally would with a pencil and get like the big brows. I'm just gonna go in with a um, 
brow gel, like a tinted brow gel, and this one's from L'Oreal. My fingerprints have like completely wiped any of the markings off, so I can't even tell you what the name is, but anything like this will do. It's almost like a little mascara wand. This thing's also really old. Probably shouldn't be putting it on my face. In the drugstores now, which is nice, because the Benefit one that I really truly enjoy, it's like 20 something dollars, and I go through those tubs like really, really fast. So for me, I don't really want to spend like $20 on it. So the drugstore options are definitely there because really it's just a gel to kind of fluff up your natural brows. So like you can just see what a difference it made. This one's like big, thick, sexy, hairy eyebrow. And this one's just sad, droopy, alone. I think that we're at the desired level of bush in the eyebrows that I enjoy. So we're going to move right along. See, this is like the easiest. This is why I love summer. This is so easy. This is so freaking easy. Okay, so I'm not really using like a lot of powders today in general. Um, I'm going to bronze it up a little bit with some powder. But first, I just picked up for the second time. And no, it's not because I went through the first one. It's because I didn't like the first one that I tried even though it was the same thing. Anyway, this is the Hoola Quickie Contour Stick, and it's from Benefit. If you've tried the Hoola Bronzer, this is like the stick form of it. And for summertime, I've just been this year really wanting to get like a contour or like a bronzer stick. And I remember I tried this one out like a year ago, and for some reason, like I returned it because I just didn't like it. I'm wondering maybe if I was just like too fair for it, and it just didn't look good. It's not really the best like contouring shade, at least for my skin tone, but it is a nice bronzer shade. And then I just take um, this thing, my little egg, and I'm just gonna start really to like blending it out. But I just find that when you use like a cream stick like this, it just blends out and looks really natural because it's just like seeping into your skin, like rather than just putting powder on the top of your like, head I feel like powder is just more noticeable on your face than a cream um, when it comes to makeup so that's just an idea for someone who wants just more minimal looks then that's what you can do um, and it's nice because this thing is actually rather buildable I don't know why I returned this to be quite honest with you maybe I was just angry just not having a good day I don't know because it's not like bad. Moving along to another cream product and that is this one right here. This is an e.l.f. cream blush that I picked up recently and it's actually like a really beautiful color. It's got some dog hairs in there and I just take a tiny little bit on my finger and just kind of dust it on like the apples of my cheeks here. And then again, I take my trusted beauty blender that has all the products on it and I just kind of again lightly buff that into the skin and give myself a natural little glow going. And on to eyes. I just like taking any sort of like a bronzer color. So for today's look, I'm just using the Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. You can get this at any drugstore. I friggin' love this stuff. If you've watched any of my old videos, you know I've talked about this before in the past and it's just amazing. What can I say? We're literally just taking a bit of this bronzer on a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna kind of chuck that right into the, the crease of my eye just because you know we contoured a lot of other things on the face so why not contour your eye sockets you know like they need some extra love too. this just kind of puts the look together for like the bronzy effect but it also just makes you appear like more awake and that your eyes are a little bit more rounded and that you're, you're looking cute you're looking cute without doing a lot of work and that's always lovely that's always a nice thing to have cool now that she's blended in we're just gonna move right along here this is it my hair what is happening I am a mess I haven't filmed in a while and I'm a straight-up mess I'm sorry it won't be a summer glow without even more summer bronzer. So I'm going to take that butter bronzer now and I'm just lightly putting it on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to kind of pat that on top of where I put my cream contour bronzer thing 
and this is just to kind of help deepen it up a little bit, make me look more sun-kissed, we're glowing, we're beautiful, we just got back from the beach, I'm loving it. But like, I kind of just want to add just like a teensy, teensy, teensy bit more, more tan, please. I just want to be tan. So I use the Vita Labrata tanner. This is like one of the most expensive like self tanners that are out there. And I think I might do like a little review on it. I'm not mad about the color. Like it looks really natural actually. Um, I'm pretty happy about it. So yeah, let me know if you guys want to like see a review on that because I looked on YouTube and there's not a lot of reviews on it. I don't know why. On it, we're going to highlighter and this is a fun part for the summertime. I'm using a mini like sample sized that I got from Becca and it's the shade Opal, just a little Becca highlighter. And this one has like a little bit of bronzers like specks in it. So normally if I'm like really fair, I don't think that I would be able to use this. But because I'm, I'm glowing, I'm a little glowy. So I'm gonna put her on. Just dust her right on there. Okay guys, so now I'm going to do the lips and I'm just using the new Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner and this is a nude shade. It doesn't say the shade name on it. I don't know, but it's just a nude shade and I'm just gonna lightly line, oh, that's not a mirror. I'm just gonna lightly line like the bottom here. Give me a little plump action. And then a little bit on the Cupid's bow, I like to kind of flatten it out a little bit. <laughs> and this just kind of like gives you the appearance of larger lips without lip injections. Little tip. And then over that, I've just been loving like a glossy lip recently and I just picked up this one. This is the e.l.f. lip oil and this is in the shade Coral Kiss. Now this was like four dollars if that and this is stunning and like literally feels amazing on the lips. Like it's like an oil. I don't really know what a lip oil is. Really? I don't know if it's supposed to be like more moisturizing or what the deal is. But it's so pretty. Okay guys, I'm back. And now I'm going back in with my Pixie Glow Mist because I wanna just like blend everything together. Make my skin look nice and juicy and glowy. And yeah, so that completes my go-to like summer makeup look. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what some of your favorite BB creams are. If you guys do use BB creams, I personally am really, really, really liking them. I'm also really into lip glosses. I've tried a few others, one from Buxom, but this one's just a more affordable alternative, and I really like the idea of like a lip oil. I just find that lip gloss makes your lips look big and luscious and juicy, and I'm digging it. I really like it. So yes, that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know what you guys want to see next. If you guys want to see the self tanner video or anything at all, let me know in the comments down below. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you have not already done so and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.